Hello and welcome back to the course on Tableau. And today we will continue with the analysis of the demographical segmentation of our member base or customer base for this bank. So here we've got the gender chart that we created previously. It's a pie chart. And by the way, with pie charts, people don't really like them in, an, in analytics, in visualizations. And um, that is the case when you have like more than three or four elements to a pie, pie chart, it gets very cluttered. In this case, we only have two male and female. So I think it's okay to create a pie chart. Um, but it's up to you. You're more than welcome to substitute with this, this with a different visualization if you think that pie chart, a pie chart is not the best way to go here. So we're going to change the name here to gender and we're going to create a new tab. And this time we're looking at age. So this is going to be interesting because we have age here and we want, we want to see um, how many people, the, how our member base is distributed across this age, uh, across uh, the different ages. So if we take age and gra drag it into columns and uh, you see it takes some of age right away, but if we change this from a measure to a dimension, so, oops, not an attribute, a dimension. So basically disaggregate it and take a uh, number of records and drag it into rows. You'll see this curved line here. So it's basically telling us how many people there are in for each individual age. So for 35 years old, there's 163 people. For 36 years old, there's 183 people and so on. And, but this is not exactly what we want. And even if we change it to a bar chart, not really what we're looking for. We don't want every single age demonstrated here. Imagine if our ages weren't uh, given in um, integers, so in whole numbers, what if they were given in um, floats or doubles? So basically, if we had in our database, in our data set, so if I'll just go here to our data set, if in our data set we didn't have 21, but 21.5 and 34.3 and 30.4 and so on, uh, this, it wouldn't work, uh, even, this doesn't look as good, but it wouldn't work even as good as this. So uh, we need to do something about it. And this is where we talk about creating bins and basically breaking up our ages into uh, different groups. So five, let's say for instance, five year bands from 15 to 20, from 20 to 25 and so on and seeing how our membership is distributed across those bands. So let's go ahead and do that. Very, It's very simple to create bins or groups uh, for a variable in Tableau. So as long as it's a measure, it basically it's a numerical variable, all you have to do is you have to right click on the variable that you want to create bins for, and then you go to create, and you create bins. Simple as that. And size of bins in our case is going to be five because we want five year bands, and we'll leave it as age bin, click OK. And as you uh, can imagine uh, age uh, bin goes into dimensions because now it's no longer a, a numerical variable. It is a categorical variable. We've broken up our data into categories. And now if we take age bin and drag it into columns and we take total number of records or number of records and drag it into rows, we get a beautiful uh, distribution which tells us how a member base is distributed across five year bands. So in 15 to 20, so 15 is inclusive, 20 is not inclusive. In 15 to 20, there's 54, rec or 54 records, meaning 54 customers. 20 to 25, there's 182 customers, then 482, 801, and so on. Uh, if you want, you can add um, the, if you press and hold control and you uh, drag some number of records to label, you'll get the number at the top. But we don't want the number at the top right now. What we want is we want to change this to a table calculation. And it is useful sometimes in a distribution to know the total, so how many in total uh, people there were in uh, a, a certain age uh, band. But what we want right now is we want a percentage. And why we want a percentage, why are we not curious about the total, is because this chart is going to work together with our map in a dashboard and our map already has a total. So our map already has the absolute number. And that's why we changed gender to a percentage and that's why we're going to change this to a percentage as well because we don't really need to know the total twice. We don't need to know it in the map and in the uh, breakdown. It's more useful here to know the percentage. So we're going to uh, click this drop down as we did previously, quick table calculations and here we'll do percentage of total. 
and voila right away it has changed from a absolute figure to the percentage of total so what we want now is we want to hide this label at the top age bin we don't need this uh, we want to change the name of the chart to age distribution or distribution by age probably better by age and now in our worksheet we want to format it so if we write oh actually first we're going to change this um, edit axis and here percentage of total number of records percentage of customers and now we want to right click on anywhere on the chart click format and we will change this to keep it consistent 12 and black or dark bold and to finish off what we're going to do is we will take some number of records, which is a percentage, and drag it into color. So now we can see the dark blue. And there you go, we've got a beautiful distribution here ready to go into our dashboard, which we'll create very, very soon. Um, that's all for today. I look forward to seeing you next time when we will continue with our uh, analysis of the segmentations. And until next time, happy analyzing. <laughs>